If I live to be 80 and I'm almost 60, I have 20 more of these and that's it. If you're a fan of the last Alaskans, you're definitely familiar with Haimo. He lives in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, which is remote and subject to extreme weather. His wife Edna and their children were on the show as well. But do you know anything else about him? What is he up to these days? What hazards and difficulties did he encounter during his life? Keep watching till the end to find out the answers to these questions. It's difficult to think that this man who thrives in secluded regions among the snow, grew up in Appleton, Wisconsin. His family was not very fond of nature or exploration, but Haima was always intrigued by it. He felt that living in a little town was not for him, so he ventured out into the world in search of excitement. He soon found himself in the northwestern parts of Canada, working as a hunter guide's assistant. He struggled at first to adjust to the weather conditions, but he soon learned to cope. Along the trip, he met his future wife Edna, a local. She stayed by his side and taught him how to be self-sufficient in such situations. They eventually settled in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, Anandwar, and began a family. Everything appeared to be going swimmingly until the couple was struck by tragedy. Calling Anne, their first child, died when she was just two years old. She was swept away in a river. Both Haimo and Edna were severely impacted by this, yet they did not give up hope. They also lost their pal Bob Hart a few years later. Although the loss of family and friends is always sad, Haima was aware of the dangers of living in the wilderness. They kept living in the Andor. To survive in the cold, they continued to hone skills such as hunting and trapping. Then his cousin James Campbell wrote a book called The Final Frontiersman, which concentrated on Haima's understanding of the terrain and the distinct lifestyle he developed, particularly for survival. This book was crucial in establishing Haima and his family's identity. Everyone was intrigued and wanted to learn more about him and his way of life. This is most likely why he was approached for the show, The Last Alaskan, where Haimo always presented reality, with her hunting, trapping, or building cottages. He offered his expertise of these topics and addressed the abilities required to live here. The family was seen working together on the episode. This added another depth to the show. Furthermore, his experience enabled him to tell anecdotes about his earlier days in the wilderness. This feature was well received by viewers because it gave character to the show and demonstrated Haimo's progression. On the show, however, some viewers were against him. Animal rights advocates and environmentalists have long stated their opposition to hunting. But Haimo had strong feelings about these problems as well. He did not hold back in expressing his opposition to a few animal rights policies. While Haimo and his family are allowed to remain in the Andwar for the rest of their life, their grandkids are not. Haimo and his wife lived in the area before it was designated as a wildlife sanctuary. Thus, they have special permission to reside there, but not their grandchildren. The show was canceled in 2018. There were rumors that Haimo and his family had left the Andor, but they did not. They are still residing there. They also did not abandon the traditions. They intend to stay for the rest of their lives. That concludes today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all of our updates. And we'll see you in the next one.